we look forward to it. You know, it's an NCAA tournament. It's you know, it's a tough matchup. Um, and looks, yeah, just looking forward to the matchup. You're you know. a big guy. Obviously, it'll be a nice challenge for you and Nas. Just, mm -hmm. you know, how much tape have you looked at them? Well, we've just seen a lot. We've just seen their style of play and the way you play, and uh, they like they like playing up, up tempo. So you know, kind of fits into the way you play too. So it's going to be a pretty good matchup in terms of going against each other. The same kind of style. So looking forward to it. Do you like that pace? With, with yeah, I prefer you know up and down, fast tempo. Obviously, I'm pretty athletic, so I run the floor and stuff like that. So it kind of fits into the way I play. And it kind of helps out our team, I feel like. Do you guys think that you're a little rare and that your bigs do get up and down the court? Yeah, I think so. I think we've got um, you know, great length, great athleticism in terms of our different bigs. And the guards, are, you know, the guards can make plays and stuff like that. So I think the up-tempo pace, it suits the way we play. Now, you made it to the Final Four. Did you really? Yeah. With Oregon? Yep. What was that like? And what have you told the guys? Um, it was a great experience, you know. Uh, I just told them every week, you know, it gets better and better. So we just got to focus on the first week. And hopefully we can advance to next week. So we just got just focus on the first first game, which is Yale, and hopefully after that we can uh, you know make some noise and keep it moving. What is the key to surviving that first week? Um, you kind of put you got to put all on the floor. You can't take nothing for granted. You got to you know play. You know, if it was a free seed or the 14 seed, but in the NCAA tournament, seeding doesn't matter as much. You know, obviously the Yale. I think a couple of years ago upset um, Baylor. I think so. You know, they have a traditional upsetting team, so you can't go out there thinking that we're going to win. We gotta go out there and just play, play you know, how we know how to play, and hopefully we can get the win. Similarly, do you have to take the court just with just thinking who you are? Is the people on the court with you right now? The coaching staff that's with you right now? So you know, say again, please. Do you have to take the court, not really worrying about Will Wade coming back? Mm -hmm. or not, who you are is who you are right now. Yeah, I think we just gotta focus on ourselves right now and just kind of focus on you know what we gotta do to win. Obviously, the coaches ain't out there playing. We're the ones that are out there playing, so we gotta go out there with the same mindset that we've taken to the beginning of the season to up to now. Hopefully we can go and uh, you know win the game. What did you learn about how you guys play without Coach Wade? Uh, I feel that's the same. I know that you know um, him and coach, him and other coaches have you know been talking, and I feel like he's you know helping us out on the side and putting out some game, some notes, some game game film and stuff like that. So I feel like even though he's not with us, he is you know he's still kind of helping out a little bit and uh, you know kind of just getting us prepared for the game as well as the coaches. I know they're going to do the best they can to to get us ready for the game. But did it feel different? Um, I mean, it felt a little bit different. Obviously, coach base, coaching style a little bit different to the way they coach. But um, like I said, it's, everyone's you know together as a team is one. You know, we're going there as, as a whole, and we know that you know those guys are you know capable of coaching us and they've got coaching, good, great experience coaching. So we know we've got, moving forward, you know, we're in good hands. Do you like kind of the, the, the villain role or you know people the world against you idea? You know that. Maybe they've identified you as, and certainly you'll have, you know, to answer tons um, of questions. I feel like, you know, I feel we really like it. You know, we've faced a lot of adversity this year, and I feel like it makes us, you know, come together more as a team. You know, when we, when we just we have to face, you know, more adversity and with people like saying, you know, that they're against us and guys that, you know, saying that we're going to lose or this and that. I feel like it brings us together as a, as a team. So, yeah, I feel like being considered the villain, in a sense, kind of, you know, helps us and fuels our fire a little bit. Have you thought about what this tournament birth means for this program, not having been since 2013, only three um, times in the last decade? Obviously, you know, it's a great, you know, great feeling, you know, to be back in the NCAA tournament. Like I said, they ain't been in a couple of years. I think that's four years. So, you know, it's great for the team, the school, the program. And hopefully moving forward, we can be a regular team going to into the NCAA tournament. Coming from Nashville, what are you guys doing to change your practice that will help you guys in the tournament? Um, I think we just got to stay focused. That's the main thing, um, being focused. I think at times we lose our focus, and that's kind of cost us in games. Like against Florida, we was up, I think, by 10 or something and a half. And in the second half, we kind of lost focus and, you know, a little bit la uh, lazy a little bit. And then they was able to come back in the game. And the playing style they play, you know, it kind of took us out of all rhythm. And they go in the rhythm and won the game. So I think just staying focused for the full few minutes of the game and just being prepared for, you know, the adverse situations that's going to happen. Because obviously in term, teams are going to go on runs, but we got to be able to stay focused and go and make our own runs. This guy talked about the connectedness. Of, you know, the term Will used to use a lot. Just mm -hmm. you guys need to remember to stay together more. Do you feel like that was something that was evident in Nashville? Um, yeah, I feel like when uh, they went in their runs, the of us come together, we kind of fell apart a little bit, and that kind of, um, you know, put us back a little bit. And, and due to that, you know, they were able to, you know, get comfortable, make plays, and, you know, because of that, they won the game. So you got to stay focused and stay together for, you know, the time of the game, the, the, you know, despite how it's going. We got to be together as a team, and, you know, hopefully, um, you know, we can prevail and get a win.